Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, I am Shantae G. Back again with another video. So on today's video, I'm gonna be doing some medium box braids or boho box braids. Y'all, I haven't got in tune with the whole knot list thing on myself, but I have had knot list before. And my verdict on knot list is nothing's better than a box, okay? Give me the box break, please. Give me the knots, please. Because as y'all can see, your girl is very much natural. So I want my braids to typically last at least three to four weeks. We pushing it at five, but yeah, three to four weeks max or a minimum, I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video. The hair that I will be using is this expression hair. And then here's the color, cause I know a lot of people always ask, well, since I've gotten highlights, people ask what color I use. And this is the color. Yeah, so SM1B30 is the color pack I have, and that is a six pack, and I have two packs of those. If I need extra hair, I do have extra hair in my little stockpile. So hopefully, I'm, my goal for this hairstyle is to make it look full, but not too full. I don't want my hair to be heavy. Again, in case you did not know, I do live in Florida, so feels like an oven out here in these streets. But anyways, I have some boho hair. This is Deep Way 20 inch 1B30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I bought all, well, I bought all the hair from Amazon. Of course, if you have a local beauty supply store, I'm sure you can find it in there as well. Um, I opted to get this from Amazon because it's cheaper. I know it's probably not 100% human hair, but I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> Um, I also ended up picking up a rack and I got this from Walmart for $10. Um, they do sell them in the beauty supply store in Amazon, but not for $10, baby, not for $10. So if you are looking for this, this, um, at Walmart was in the sewing aisle. So like where the threads are, this is a thread holder. So yeah the hair girl is just this is for you to put your threads on but yeah um then i also got some hair gel and then stuff red y'all i have dangers really bad so in this video if y'all see my scalp is white that is what it is my hair is very my scalp is very dry um i'm due for another hair treatment so i'll be booking that after i take these out but yeah my hair is my scalp is super dry if you have any tips down below please leave them if you have any tips down below if you have any tips for super dry scalp leave them down below in the comments yeah and then for this gel i've never used this but i when i got my hair braided the last time sis pulled this out and i was like hmm let me try it out because typically i use the edge booster but the edge booster leaves residue. When she used this on my head, it wasn't a residue. So I'm gonna try it out again on myself and see if it was tea. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it because I am on a time crunch. <laughs> All right, so here you guys, I am separating the hair. I found that when I separate the hair ahead of time, that it makes me go a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, get the job done. Okay, because you're not stopping and pulling hair out and separating and doing all that shenanigans. So, yes, please separate your hair prior to you braiding your hair. Now, here, um, usually I start from the back, but this time I decided to start from the front. I actually seen a TikTok video, not a TikTok video, a reel on Facebook saying that if you start in the front, you go a little bit quicker. And I will say... I felt like I did go quicker when I started from the front because it was kind of like, okay, girl, the front is done. You have to get the back done, like, immediately. <laughs> so I do think 
that method does work with you moving faster. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know how to braid for real. Like, I braid, but not for real, for real. You know, like, I just, my method is not the same as everybody else. Like, me and my mom joke about this all the time. Like, I braid weird. Like, I just braid weird. But it always end up coming out cute. Like, it comes out into a braid, if you know what I'm saying. So, yes. I don't want to say this is a beginner video. But I am going to say I do not know how to braid for real, for real. Like, if you see the way my hands move, you'll be like, what is she doing? Like, but at the end of the day, my box braids give box braids. <laughs> so don't come for me, okay? But yeah, I do. The method behind my braids are definitely quite interesting, but they do get the job done nonetheless. So yeah, y'all. Um, I will say I wished I would have blown my hair out a little bit more, just so the parts could be seamless. But it is what it is. We did what we could. Well, y'all, the top portion of my head is done. I still have. back to do what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna do the perimeter yeah I'm gonna do the perimeter but as far as tonight or should I say this morning because it is two o'clock in I can't even talk right. It's two o'clock in the morning, y'all. So yeah, I'm about to go lay down. I'm about to go lay down. Yeah. And my forehead got a little tan. Good morning, y'all. Your girl <laughs> look like a scarecrow, but listen. So, I woke up maybe an hour ago. It's like 12 o'clock. Um, and I started parting the back of my head. So, the way I do the back of my head is I rubber band it. Now, I rubber band it only for the purpose of separating the parts. I don't leave the rubber bands in because I just feel like, yeah, this is not the video for the rubber band method. I am strictly using rubber bands so that I can part it off and then I can sit in here, chill, and just braid. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to keep parting one by one, one by one. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and try to show y'all. I hope y'all could see what the back looks like. So yeah, so far, hopefully I was able to see. It's only three rows back there. I probably have one, two, maybe three or four more rows to do. And then I'm gonna get back into braiding because y'all, it's Saturday. I'm trying to be outside. Like I need this done. Even if I don't finish, I need the perimeter done. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So let's get into it. I am finally done. It is 9.45 p.m. And your girl is done. Ugh. Oh, my God. I still got to hop one of the ends. 
and mousse it and stuff. So I'll come back when I'm officially, officially, officially done. But yeah, it's a lot of hair. I didn't think it was gonna be this much, but yeah. And just like that, your girl hair is done. Done. Y'all. Finished product. Finished product. I got to do my edges or whatever. And then I do have a tan from when I had my Bobbiana in. My little Bobbiana. But it's cool. As the days go on, it's going to mellow out. But yeah, y'all. When you could do your own hair. And don't get me wrong, it don't eat how the girlies eat when they do it for you, but to do it yourself, say them coins, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get into it. Get into it. Boho box braids. Get into it. And it only took me two days. I started late Friday afternoon, like around 7-ish. And then I finished Saturday around 9.45 p.m. So, yeah. 